Alright, we're about to go grill this motherfucker because we just got all the fucking evidence anyway. So, we get to the hospital. And this story is going, this story is from the past two fucking parts. I've been telling this story for like a goddamn half hour. And of course, now I gotta fucking interrogate you. So I can't finish it yet. Possible suspect. Who the fuck wanted to kill and rape your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Yeah, that's a goddamn lie, because she ain't full of life anymore, is she? She's full of goddamn semen and blood. Probably from you. Look at you scared and shit. You're not even fucking looking at me. You're a goddamn liar. For the record, Jones, did you kill your wife? Oh my god. This... No. I didn't kill my wife. Yeah, Fuck sure. You, you know who also said, I didn't kill my wife? Harrison Ford in every single fucking movie he's been in. Where were you so at? I we went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Who the fuck is Bobby Ross? Shit, I can't, this dude is one stone cold motherfucker. I doubt. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dance. God, your wife sounds like a fucking her. bitch. Sounds like you're she glad she's goes. dead. Bar down in North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. Alright, now he's telling the truth about that, that shit because I found five goddamn matchbooks. Calls me. Matchbooks. I don't bring her home. Matchbooks, Matchbox 20. I fucking hate Matchbox 20. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Yeah, and I think you're a goddamn liar. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying. And you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? Yeah, I'm telling you your wife was unhappy, and you make me goddamn any more angry, I'm gonna go fuck your dead wife! I would never do that, guys, okay? That was just me angrily talking, because I want to finish the fucking story. What? Why can't I say... Why can't I use... Why was the photo turned down? Son of a bitch. Shit! Why aren't you out there trying to catch the person who did this? I don't know, because you got so much goddamn evidence pointing to you, motherfucker, in the back room. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Yeah, you lit to the right, so that means you're fucking lying to me, you fucker. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, Lars. And you're the perfect husband, I suppose. Goddamn right, if I was married. Bobby Ross doesn't confirm your story. We are going to come back here. Shit, I only got one right. Good, Lars. Only fucking question I think I got right was asking him what his goddamn name was. Get out of my way, fuckface. I had to use the phone. Move. Anyway. Operator, give fucking... me a dispatch. Oh my fucking god. How can I help, detective? Putting you through. Son of a bitch! Fellas, anyway. How can I help, detective? God damn it, I always need a fucking run an address for a Bobby Ross. Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? Would no. you like him picked up? Suspect says butter. he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks, man. Okay, so anyway. We get to the hospital. We go inside. And this, this looks like a scene out of fucking, I don't know, Serpico. This guy story? Way too goddamn old of a reference. This looks like a scene out of goddamn... You know the way. You can drive. This looks like a scene out of goddamn DMX. Fine. Never Die Alone. Yeah. There, will you motherfuckers get that reference? Anyway. Everybody is either black or Mexican. I'm putting that in the... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Are you scared of the goddamn car? Fucking doing the sainty leg and shit. Anyway, I'm scared. And of course, I swear to God, I heard somebody say when I was in that waiting lobby, I'll suck your dick for 20 bucks. And I'm not fucking lying. I think somebody actually did say that. But I, I don't know. It's even fucking weird. Okay, so they call my name. And I don't know why we didn't go into the goddamn emergency room. And of course, if there were... 
I shouldn't have gone to the emergency room. I should have gone to the goddamn that's impressive room. They call my name after waiting for like 30 fucking minutes. And of course, during this whole time, she's fucking cleared out the vending machines. Vending machines are all goddamn gone. Benny Clough? What the fuck kind of a name is that? I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? Haven't even investigated the Black Dog yet, right you motherfucker. Anyway. The babysitter said he was out. <sighs> if you don't mind, we have a few questions. When did you last talk to the what motherfucker? Time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On True. foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for Don't be fucking rude. Number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I, I believe worried. that shit. You took the tension with a goddamn butter knife back to that house. Put out an APB on the cab. Two rye on ice. Should one Manhattan and one gin Ricky. God, she's a fucking alcoholic. Vagrant male suspect. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bombs in here. Can you actually say that with a fucking straight face? We got reports of a tall, vagrant-looking fucking hobo. Doubt that shit. Is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over. Promising to take her dancing. You take her dancing and guys? touch her vagina sure. and stuff. Got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? Motherfucker. The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Richard Red Bates? What the fuck is he from? Psycho? Anyway, we're at the hospital. They call my name. I go back there. It's just one black doctor. He, he's scary looking. Okay. Why would you point him out? That fucker's gonna run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Motherfucking cocksucker! Shut the fuck up, fuckface. You're afraid of fucking hood ornaments. Shit. Uh, what is the little time fucking doing? How the fuck are you running as fast as me? Oh, shit! That fucker nearly ran me over! Oh, he's dead now. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Oh, shit! Where the fuck did he go? Hey, calm down, fuckface. He knows this area a lot better than I do. Shit! Where the fuck did this guy go? What the fucker this dude can drive? Anyway, we're at the hospital, this young black doctor comes out, he's really scary looking and shit, and he goes like, oh, huh. No, he looked at my situation. I regret saying that immediately. He looked at the fucking raging hard on that I have, and he goes, huh, you must, what are you, happy to see me? Anyway, he takes me back. And you know, oh, yeah, okay, and I don't want fucking ham sandwich to come back with me, so she stays in the back. And he, he says, okay, pull down your pants, and he starts looking at it, and of course, from now, holy shit! Let's end this part. Let's end this motherfucker, you're right. Anyway, so, pull down the pants, and he looks at the situation, and of course, until then, I thought it was just fucking hard-on that was awesome. You're gonna answer some questions. But I'm looking, and my dick is fucking pulsating. What does it mean by pulsating? It looks like it's going in and out. In and... No, not in and out. You can see the fucking heartbeat. The dick is moving. It's fucking moving. Not even on my own. You were drinking with a lady in the bar. Son of a bitch. Now she's dead. Well, I ever get to fucking finish this story. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You can lay it off on him. Are we finished? Okay, I believe him. Tell us about Teresa Terrelson. What's to tell? Uh, account of the movements for the sort of show. Anyway, you left the bar. so the dick is fucking pulsate. Like, you can see the heartbeat. Yeah, you know, holy shit, guys! Come look at this. I don't know. Well, he didn't say holy shit, guys. He was like, uh, doc, whatever the fuck. Oh, god damn it! I didn't even look at his face. I'm just out of time. Anyway, come look at this. Yeah, Miss Jenny, come look at this. So I've got four fucking doctors staring at it. I was lying there. Then he says one sentence that I will never fucking forget. Go get Mr. Five Dollar. We're taking you in. And of course, I don't know what the fuck Mr. Five Dollar is. What the fuck do you have in your hand? Explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. 
You're proving my theory about what's a fuckface always funny. Anyway, he goes, go get Mr. Five Dollar. And of course, I don't know what the fuck Mr. Five Dollar is, but I have a feeling it's not going to be good. So, he says, go get Mr. Five Dollar, then she comes in with a fucking case, and god damn it, of course now I have to stop the fucking recording.